Hello everybody, welcome to TrueTuber. In this video, we will learn about VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP in combination. That means this type of function is needed to combine this HLOOKUP and VLOOKUP when you want to get the value corresponding to a fixed corresponding to a row and column you give this is a table so you want to know the value of C corresponding to this 2015 then you want to know the value of D corresponding to 2011 so you have to give the row value and the column value and this function gives the corresponding value of that row and that column given by you so uh, here is the trick there is no such function uh, instead we use h lookup and we look up in combining in combination so that it solves our purposes now what's the tricks you have to insert a row just beneath this one that is the column number so this column number uh, is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. These are years. So, first, let's we have a value a here and 2011 these two values you have to give now in the first at first you have to determine the column number where these 2011 belong so here you have to use the hlookup function so what the hlookup will do that lookup value is 2011 comma the table array this is this you have you may select this one row index number is number 2 that is row index number is 2 range lookup is false so you see 2 now if you change this 2000 one, one, even to 2014 you see the range uh, the value gets changed to 5 now in uh, VLOOKUP what you have to do you have to give the lookup value table array and the column number you specify so here instead of specifying the column number by 1 2 3 you have to use this function which determines the column number so write v lookup the lookup value here is this one the table array 
is this one the column index number what is this this one so here we use the h lookup value instead of uh, giving the fixed column num index so the here the h lookup value will determine the column index of this cell so the h lookup value is here the lookup value is 2014 i have selected that particular cell the table array is this one row index number is 2 the second row the range lookup give false back closed so you have just completed the column index number in the vlookup function by using the each lookup function so just keep the comma and the range lookup is false this closes the vlookup function just put enter so you see you get the value 16 so uh, let's check the value of a corresponding to 2014 is 16 jo, so now just change these values let's we want to know the value of g in the year 2017 that is 21 just put g here and 2017 here you get 21 let's check another we want to know the value of d in the year 2013 so put d here and 2013 here you see it is 18 let's check yes it's 18 let's do another check value of a in the year 2016 is 8 uh, 2015 is 14 a 2015 14 so uh, using these tricks uh, you get the value from a table corresponding to the row and column you specified not a fixed row and column so in using this trick we have used vlookup and hlookup function in combination and get our desired solution those who have not seen the vlookup and hlookup function uh, i have given the video description uh, video link in the description of both the videos vlookup function and hlookup function just watch the video and come back here and see this combination tutorial hope it will help thanks for watching stay tuned do a thumbs up and subscribe thank you